Well, y'all, my plan is that today I'm gonna jump shoot some good old ducks. I am actually on that same same hunt day as shooting the goose and the uh what's them call it? Gadwall. So yeah, I'm just making my way through the timber now to get down to the water and hopefully maybe pick up a wood duck, maybe even some teal or whatever. So I'll see you guys at the water. <sighs> it's a walk down here. Oops. Look at this. Not intentionally what I'm hunting for. Shoot some doves. <laughs> Just kidding. Well, if there was any ducks, they're gone. That was a lot of doves, though. They didn't see me. I don't have a really good shot for them. I got four shots, that's it. Got two of them. So one dropped. Just straight down. Let's try to find this one though. Cause he's still alive. I see one. Now this other one. So out of the whole group, oh, I shot <laughs> a pigeon and some dove. I didn't know there was a pigeon in there, but this is my first ever dove. Pretty cool. I've actually never ate a pigeon or a dove. So, pretty cool. They're just little guys. So this hunt, I'm 
intentionally was supposed to be a duck hunt uh water right there next to the marsh and then right in that big tree you guys see me miss a whole bunch but big flock of them and i was like man i did not bring shells for this so when i seen them laying in the tree well i put them down so i could have shot a lot more but i'm happy with the two i might sit here for a second maybe some more will come in but i don't have much gopro battery because i just didn't know i had 20 percent on my gopro battery just threw it in my pocket and headed down this way just to see if i could jump shoot some ducks and there's no ducks down here but there was some doves which i wanted to do this year so we got onto a dove hunt so my gopro did die but i wanted to show these birds kind of the comparison since this is my first time and i'm kind of soaking in the info uh of the pigeon versus the dove and then we'll do a comparison on the plate also but look at this guys when i told you i walked through this is bad not only that but look got me good <laughs> oh man they are really pretty though when they fly especially in flocks like that so so they have a lot of similarities but in color these are a lot more like grayish and then if you get the light just right you can see like the bluish purple in his there and then their feet look at that and i didn't know they had that kind of like a pheasant and then you got gray so pretty cool so i think if i come back to this spot um I'm gonna bring my spinners and stuff. My dove spinners I just bought this year. That, well, I, I I can't say I didn't use. I did use them, but didn't have no luck. But when you're not going after the species, that's when you have best luck. So pretty crazy. Um, I'm just kind of zoning off because last time I was just doing the same thing I am now, just looking around and damn, there they were. So never know. I am heading out now. Uh, this actually spot, the water of this lake has gone down a ton. This same spot that I'm in right now, uh, walking in right now, was completely underwater. And me and my fiance, we would walk through this. Basically, almost had me in tears of how bad the sink mud was because we were sinking so bad that up to our waist that we didn't know we both were stuck in it we ended up with two teal because we were jump shooting like i was going to do today but don't have to worry about that mud if you're not going after ducks right <laughs> i'm excited to try these um i'm gonna look up some recipes so i, I have no clue what we're gonna do i've seen people do kebabs with like a bunch of veggies uh I've seen people do the poppers, but I've done a lot of teal poppers this season. So I think we're going to do something different and do a little, little something different for you guys. So stay tuned, y'all. All right. So show you the birds one more time. Color patterns, similar, but the doves are a lot lighter. These are darker and I got that purple and blue. So we're gonna go ahead and do the cleaning process. And I'm excited to be able to try these little suckers. So the pigeon and the dove really have similar color meat and looks exactly the same. Like when I was going in there, it's very, very similar. And then another thing is they got such a small fat layer. Uh, I just got done cleaning goose and a duck and they have a super, super thick duck layer. Uh, a fat and these guys just have tiny so just something that I seen because I was just get, got done cleaning the goose and stuff and yeah this is they kind of remind me of teal breasts really really similar I know YouTube's kind of weird about this stuff because uh, people are getting kind of soft but it's kind of cool they must have just been out in the field eating corn because both of them are just full their necks are full of corn. They must have not digested yet. Going to, going to sit down on that tree 
and I put a stop to it. Didn't let them get, be able to digest their food. Sorry guys, but I'll enjoy you. So I got them all washed up, put into some baggies of salt water. We'll let them soak for an hour. Got them labeled, P for pigeon, D for dove. So let's let these babies sit and I'll be back in an hour. So it's been an hour. So I got the veggies out. So yellow onion, red pepper, and I decided I'm gonna unthaw some bacon. I'm gonna throw some bacon on there. Some mushrooms. And then your dove and your pigeon. And as you can tell, that salt water did its trick. Remove some of that blood for you. And if you really wanted to get some of that blood out of there, you would change out the water uh, as you go. So you'll start seeing that red tint and bam, get rid of that water. So. I'm gonna get this all prepped and then we'll start putting them on sticks. Got the skewers. We're gonna only be able to do two. So one's just gonna be your pigeon and one's just gonna be your dove. And the one thing that I really like that I actually shot two this time is I can get the full experience to know if I'm gonna go and hunt these things again. Cause I might not like them. I know a ton of people say that doves have a really good tasting meat so I'm excited to try this, uh, cause that's what it's all about, bringing it home and putting it on the table. And that's my favorite part about all this. So I'm excited to try this today cause this is my first ever dove in this house and gonna be in my body. We're gonna be grilling with the George Foreman. This thing I almost got rid of. So, this is to set this thing on high. I have to get some cooking oil. Says just throw on until it's good. <laughs> Get the baby up close for you guys because putting them on here, it's gonna make that nice sizzle. And I am doing this in the house, so you're probably gonna hear a fan now. All right, it says five minutes. We'll take a look. We're gonna go a little bit longer because of the bacon. That's looking good. For sure it should be done now. Oh yeah. All right, so these things are still hot, but crazy thing is about this little jump shoot is it was super, super surprising to see that pigeon. I was kind of disappointed. I mean, yeah, I've never tried pigeons, so I shouldn't doubt on them, but I was like, I'm a hundred percent sure that I seen all doves. And then when I first picked up the first one and it was a pigeon, I was like, man, I was really hoping to try some dove. And then I found another one and I was like, it's a dove! So yeah, it made my day a lot better. Uh, I definitely could have waited around and shot some more, but I brought six shells with me. And I think I wasted three or four just trying to shoot them in the air. And then I got the one out of the tree. So I was down to two shells. So I was like, you know what? 
it's a super far walk back to my truck and I wasn't gonna do it I was happy with what I had so to make, be able to make this video for you and I'll be able to try it and if I like it we'll get into it now so yeah let these cool down and we'll do the try the taste test we got what y'all been waiting for the two meat yep right here so this one's dove this is I kind of marked them with two meat on top oh wow That is really good. Bacon. Mmm. <laughs> That's the pigeon. They have very similar taste. Um, but pigeon was a little bit tougher meat. But try some onion. It's made a mess. Yeah, that's good. I'll have to do this again. Uh, I'm definitely hunting these again. I need more lowers too. Dang it. Should have thrown some on while it was still hot. But I kind of sauced it down with some. So, But this is good. I I say you guys, have you, if you've never have dove hunted, you guys got to try this. Because uh, it's my first time and it is really, really good. So, hope you guys like this little jump shoot that I did. Uh, it was just kind of unexpected. I was going to continue on with my last hunting video uh, and finish out my limit with some ducks, but turned out to be a little dove hunt. So, thank you all for watching today's video. And if you guys liked it, go down to the bottom, smash that like button. And while you guys are down there, go ahead and hit that sub button. So, thank you all for watching. See you next one. Peace.